Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Carvera Air tutorial. And in this one, we're looking at how to use the optional laser engraving module to create a project from the Carvera Air examples guidebook. The examples guidebook comes with every Carvera Air along with the sample pack of materials that can be used to create these projects. The design files and bits are also included with your Carvera Air, so making these projects are an easy and satisfying way to get started with CNC production. Now for this project, we won't actually be needing any bits as this is engraved using the optional laser engraving module, which is available in the Makera store. The laser module can be used to engrave and cut a wide range of materials using a diode laser engraver on the Carvera Air desktop CNC, increasing the ability of this desktop CNC for a variety of projects. Now, the first step of this project is to actually load our stock, which is a piece of MDF spoil board that's 150 by 150 by 2 millimeters, and we can secure this to the bed of our desktop CNC. We need to align our MDF board with anchor position 1 in the lower left corner of the Carvera Airs bed. Then secure the stock as shown in the guidebook using the machine screws with our corner clamp and by placing a top clamp along the side of the stock using other machine screws. Minimal pressure is placed on an engraving project during the manufacturing process, so we can typically secure this stock with less clamps than we may normally do with our milling projects. And while it's not required, we do recommend that you use the Air Assist nozzle connected to a compressor with any laser engraving project, as this will reduce scorching with engraving, as well as reduce any possible fire risk. This creates a safer engraving environment by connecting an air compressor or air pump via the port on the back of your Carvera Air. The Air Assist nozzle pressure can be adjusted by first pulling the blue knob outward, then rotating it to increase or decrease airflow. And before we start laser engraving, we do need to talk about safety. Whenever you use a laser engraving module like this, there are a couple different risks that you need to be aware of. The first is smoke inhalation. So you should always use the laser engraving module in a well-ventilated space. You also want to make sure that you're engraving materials that are safe to work with with a laser. Some materials, such as PVC or synthetic leathers, cannot be engraved using a diode laser as the fumes released from these materials are harmful. Always make sure that you're using a safe set of materials with your engraving module and check out our wiki site for recommended materials and power settings. You also want to always make sure that you protect your eyes from any harmful light rays that can be coming off of this machine. The laser engraving module comes with a UV protected glasses that we always recommend that you wear in addition to the UV protectant shroud around the laser engraving module. Now to start manufacturing, we don't actually need to install our laser engraving module just yet, but instead we can load the wired probe as we begin to manufacture this part. Next, we need to open the Carvera controller app and connect to our Carvera Air. Within the files menu, there's an examples folder that includes all of the example files for the project shown in the examples guidebook. There may be two versions of the laser engraving sample. I'll be choosing the full size one in this example video. Once open, we can preview the design and toolpaths before clicking config and run. We want to make sure that this file is aligned with anchor point one in the Carvera controller app, just like our stock is on the bed of the Carvera Air. And we also need to offset the design by 30 millimeters in the X axis and 25 millimeters in the Y axis to prevent accidentally engraving our corner clamps. We want to enable scan margin as this will trace the perimeter of our design before engraving and auto Z probe, which will set the focal point of the laser based on the height of our stock automatically. We also typically do not need to use auto leveling as laser engraving has a higher tolerance for varying stock thicknesses, unless you were attempting to engrave on a curved or rounded surface. Once all parameters are set, click run to start manufacturing. The Carvera Air will begin by scanning the perimeter of the part with a laser pointer built into the wired probe. Check to make sure that no screws or clamps are in the way or obstructing this margin. The Carvera Air will then probe the point set within the controller app to measure the height of our stock before prompting us to install the laser module. The laser module installs like any other tool bit. After lowering the quick release handle and removing the probe, we can insert the laser module. We can plug the laser engraving module into the port at the top of the Carvera Air's tool head. We can then connect the air tube to the air assist nozzle if we're using a compressor as mentioned earlier. Once the laser has been loaded, press the button on top of the Carvera Air to continue manufacturing this project. After homing the laser engraving module using the button in the back of the bed, the Carvera Air will then begin to engrave our designs. The machine time for this project is about 40 minutes, and again we want to ensure that we're in a well-ventilated space, wearing our safety glasses, and only viewing through protected lenses. We should never leave the Carvera Air unattended when engraving, as there could be scorching or a possible flare-up based on your stock and parameters. 
After this job finishes, you can move the tool head away from by clicking Go to Clearance in the Carvera Controller app. You can loosen the screws and clamps to remove your part from the Carvera Air. And that's all there is to it. Using the optional laser engraving module really just opens up a much wider range of types of projects that you can do with your Carvera Air desktop CNC. From engraving images to engraving different materials or cutting through thin stock, it really offers a wide range of flexibility to your CNC projects. Of course, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out more projects and guides on our YouTube channel and wiki site.